It's cold outside, so we're in the workshop today. I've got the Land House logo cut out on some paper, and I've got a Sharpie. I'm going to uh, copy this logo onto this block of wood, and we're going to try and make a wooden version of the logo. So let's get started. Hopefully I can keep this in place and just trace over all the spots here. Okay, so I've just copied that design over, and that's what it looks like. Now I don't have a bunch of nice woodworking tools, so we're gonna be improvising a little bit. I wanna find the middle of this circle so that I can uh, add the design in here. To do that, I'm gonna be using some hole saws. I've got a two and an eighth and I think that's a one and a quarter maybe. So that one will make the middle uh, circle and this will make the other circle. Now I'm not gonna go all the way into this, just kind of make an indention and then be uh, carving that out by hand. So let's mark the middle here. Looks like this thing is three and a quarter in each direction. So let's see what we got here. Do -do -do. Now because this piece is so thin, I'm probably going to leave a little connector piece in here. But I have to get my saw in here somehow, so I'm going to put some drill holes in here to allow it to uh, move around some. And then another one, of course, in here to uh, get into this spot. Alright, I'm going to put a couple of holes in here to get started with this. Now I'm going to try and use this hole saw to make an outline for where these indentions are going on this part. So let's see what we got here. So I want it to be right there. Okay, so I'm going to hold this tight, hopefully. Now I move down to the next size, and I'm going to do this again, just uh, lining up the same spot. Okay. Okay, kind of gives the same design of the logo there. So like I was saying, my woodworking tools are kind of limited, so I'm just going to be getting this cinched down to the edge of the bench here. And by bench I mean uh, table saw. And now I'm just going to be using saw here to uh, cut out around these lines. Moving along pretty good now. Just gonna rearrange how I've got it uh, fastened here. 
So I have certainly never worked like this before on a piece of uh, wood. Kind of exciting. So here's where we get to use these holes that were drilled here. Just to kind of get this uh, little triangle cut out here. Next I'm going to cut out the middle here using this same spot that was drilled into. Well, got that cut out. Let's see how we did here. Yeah, not bad at all. I like them. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take just a, uh, a knife and start uh, rounding off these edges because the actual logo is uh, very rounded. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, and just take off a little bit of each side um, and then maybe try and get in here and, and cut some of that out a little bit as well. Well, I got the logo cut out and uh, my mom came home and I was showing her what it looked like and said I was gonna use a knife to um, round off some of the edges. And she looks at me and says, well, you know, your dad's got a Dremel tool out in the garage. So I kind of gave one of those, oh yeah, looks. So let's give the Dremel a try and see if we can just round off these edges to make it look more like the digital version of the logo. I don't know if you've ever used a Dremel, but they're handy. I just forget that my dad's got one. So uh, I'm thinking that the only one that's really gonna work is this one right here. Looks kind of like a drill bit, but uh, I think it's made for shaving stuff. So we'll give that one a try. Sometimes it really helps to have a second person's opinion. I guess that's why so many people are productive in uh, big groups. Anyway, I guess a lot of times I build stuff and then ask you questions about it after it's done. Uh, and that's, I guess, sometimes not the best way of doing things. All right, let's try this out. I can't promise this is gonna work perfectly. And I may want to find uh, some kind of way to hold this on the table, but let's see. So it's not exactly uh, the most beautiful right now, but I think it's going to be faster than cutting it with a knife. So I'm just going to go along all these edges and smooth it out some. Let's give it a try around one of these and see how well it does. All right, nice. So I think I've got it all pretty well uh, beveled here. I'm gonna hit it with some sandpaper real quick and I think it's time for some paint. Well, I was unable to find sandpaper, but I did find another Dremel attachment that is sandpaper. So let's see how well this works. Looked around the house for a while and found a couple of spray paint cans. Should do well on our design. I'm gonna let this sit for um, a couple of hours and then come back and finish it up. I was doing some cleanup here at the apartment and I found Ashley's old art set. And it's got uh, some nice brown and greens that would actually work better than the spray paint idea I had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
paint this with the uh, the new colors. Hey, this one's never even been opened before. Are you jealous of my crazy artistic ability here? <laughs> I've never been uh, good at painting. There's the first coat of the green on the tree. Now I'm going to move to uh, down here on the trunk part of the tree. I may end up going a little darker than that. That's kind of a, a light brown, but we'll see. Got that one on there. It is a little bit brighter than I was expecting, so I might come back with a dark brown. We'll just have to see. Let's see what this one looks like on here. Huh. <laughs> that looks a lot like the same color, doesn't it? I think it is. Eh, a little bit brighter. I just got the second coat on the logo. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? So at some point I want to come back and add the uh, red door here in the middle. Uh, I may just cut it out and then glue it in there. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Anyway, for now I think it's going to be done. Uh, for the very first time to try and make a logo out of wood, not bad. I definitely will try it again soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Well, it's cold outside, so we're back in the workshop. <laughs>